G'day, I'm BG from Drifter. Just want to do a, a walkthrough video on this canopy we just fitted out here today. So um, this canopy is fitted out with a lot of the features which are shown on a lot of the examples for the trayback systems which are on the website, the Drifter website. So I thought it's a really good one to do a bit of a walkthrough video on. This canopy here is off a single cab ute, so it's quite a long canopy. Um, we do, we fit out all canopies, all shapes and sizes. If you've got a dual cab canopy, then the canopy would just be a bit shorter. Um, and then sometimes there's canopies that have got dog boxes on the back or different things which are smaller again. So whatever canopy you've got, we can fit out with whatever you need. Um, obviously the more space you've got, the more you can get in there. So yeah, we can just work with what you've got. So yeah, th this system here, it's got a combination of a lot of the different fit outs that are on our website under the tray back heat systems. So we're just looking on this side. So this, this would generally be on the passenger side of the vehicle. So at the front here, we've got a 60 litre angle fridge. So this fridge is built into a box. The box has got a lip around the top, so we've got a bit of additional storage up there. So just trying to make um, use of all the space that we've got here. So yeah, obviously this fridge here is on a drop down slide. So when this canopy is on the back of the ute, it would typically be sat a little bit higher. We've just got it set on some pallets as we're working on it. So this drop slide is the, the clear view easy slide. We also use the MSA drop slides as well. So it just depends on what slide the customer prefers. Fridge slides out like so. And then you just release the handle here and then it drops down to a good height so you can access the fridge and get all your gear. So, yeah, the drop slides are a really, really good feature. They're very popular on all the, all the systems we do here at Drifter. Slides away, locks in. Alrighty, um, here we've got three drawers. So pretty standard, just storage drawers. This one's just got a stove in here. Another storage drawer here. So this is one of the optional features. This is what we call an insert drawer. So it's just a little tray, handy for putting small bits and pieces in and you can um, slide it to the back or the front or take it out should you wish. A little storage drawer here, so as you can see, drifter drawers, um, we sort of pioneered using Teflon slides which are under the, under the base of the drawer here. So the drawers run on two, two Teflon strips and then on this shelf here, below the drawer, there's uh, corresponding two Teflon strips as well. So the plastic slides on the plastic, the slide really easy and um, by using the Teflon slides underneath it means that we don't lose space either side using steel runners. Drifter drawers also, you know, so you, they give you a bigger draw capacity and they're also much lighter because the runners obviously take, uh, you know, they've got a bit, of, a bit of weight to them. And um, yeah, you know, obviously runners add to the cost. So that means we can keep our drawers more reasonably priced. So there's a few extra features on this side. This is one of the really popular features we do at the moment. So this here is a slide out bench. Okay, so it slides in nice and neat. When you want to use it, all you do is you release this tab, just pull them out. As you can see, this bench is actually on runners because it's a self-supporting bench. So as you pull it out, it locks out. There's no legs. So um, you probably wouldn't want to sit on the end of here, you know, um, but it's just a perfect little work prep area. So, you know, if you get your stove, you can pull your stove out, set your stove up on here, connect that down to your gas bottle. Um, we've got another slide out table, which we've built in here. So this table, you could just leave there and use that as a bit of an extra workbench or it pulls out completely and you've got a full set of legs on there. So the legs just open up like so. Each leg adjusts individually as well. So you can, you can alter the height of the table and you can also um, adjust the legs individually. So if you're on uneven ground, you can um, set it up so it's nice and stable and it doesn't rock around. So, so the table is a great little addition to your, your work prep area if you're cooking a meal or whatever you're doing. Um, and also, obviously, you can sit around this, you can eat your dinner off this table. So, such a great little feature of the table. All right, so that just slides away nice and easy. And then it just locks into place like that. So, um, so yeah, some really good features to show on this unit here. So, when you want to put this slide out bench away, you just release that tab, push them in and that locks in. So this, this slide out bench here, the length and the width of that bench, just it all varies. It depends on what canopy you've got and what, what we're doing, how big you need it to be. 
Um, and like on all these drawers, the whole system is, is built to spec. So everything's built from scratch to the exact size it needs to be to fill the canopy and make the, make the use out of all that space. All right. We've also um, done a fair bit of 12-volt 12 work, 12 work on this, um, on this canopy. So we put what, the Baintech panel in here. So the Baintech panel is a pretty regular feature here at Drifter. Um, at the top of this one, we've got a volt gauge. So it tells us how many volts are in the battery. Um, there's two SIG sockets and a USB. It's also got a, um, a low voltage cutoff. So if your battery gets too low, it will automatically, it beeps and then it cuts off. So pretty standard thing. They're a really good bit of gear and um, we like them a lot. So a few lights here. So these, these are a good little light. These are available on the website. Um, you've got the white light, which at night time, that white light will be really bright and it'll just illuminate this whole area. And then you've also got the, the orange light too, which doesn't attract the bugs. So yeah, you've sort of got the best of both worlds there. Alrighty, so yeah, obviously the customer's got some spare wheels going here. We fitted a, a, a light on the back, so just to give them some, some vision at the back. And we've also put a couple of Anderson plugs here. So this one here is for solar panel input. And this one here is just, um, just a general purpose 12 volt um, plug in in case you've got anything you want to plug in the back. Yeah, around here we've got another light on this side. So same deal with that one. Alrighty. And then the rest of the, um, the 12 volt and electronics is all sort of based here. So. This here is an inverter. So this is an 1800 watt projector inverter. So 1800 watt, that's you know, on the bigger size of an inverter. So that would power most 240 volt items. Um, a couple more sockets here. So just a, you know, a SIG socket here. And this one's a USB. So just a few, a few more plug-in places for charging things. Um, and then if we just have a look in here. So this is where the magic happens, okay? This here is, um, this is a 125 amp lithium battery. So the lithium batteries we're currently using are Safiri. Um, so they're, they're really good lithium batteries. Basically these days, lithium is the way to go. Everyone's going lithium. It's, um, they're a bit more expensive, but they, they're much more efficient with the power and, and the weight. You know, like that battery there, 125 amps, and it weighs less than 15 kilos. Whereas if that was an AGM battery, you'd be looking at like 35 kilos almost. So there's a big difference in weight there. The good thing about the Safiri batteries as well is you can, they're a lithium battery that you can wire up in parallel. So a lot of lithium batteries don't allow that to happen because the batteries just can't cope with it. But the Safiri ones you can. So that's one of the main reasons that we're using these batteries at the moment. So this unit here, this is the, the DC-DC charger. So this is the, the 1230S2 um, by Red Arc. So this is a big unit. Um, you know, this is like state-of-the-art electronic technology right here. So this... DC-DC charger um, allows DC input, which comes from the engine. Um, it also allows solar input, and it also allows 240 volt input. So plug here, okay? If you're on a, if you're on a powered site or whatever, you can, just, you can just plug that in, and that'll keep your battery charged up. Um, or you could um, obviously just plug in a solar panel to the rear. It all runs through here. This boosts the charge puts it into the battery and keeps your battery going nice and strong all the time. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of other storage space in here too. So, you know, this customer, yeah, you might store some other bits and pieces in here, of course. All right, and this, this is the display for the, the 1230S2. So, I call it the manager. So, it basically, um, it, it controls the system and it, um, the, the, the display gives you all the information you need to know exactly how it's all operating and working. All right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then here, basically, to finish off on this side, we've just got more storage drawers. All the drawers do come with a divider, like so, which is just on L brackets like this. So these dividers, you can, um, you can screw them in wherever you like, or if you don't want to use them, that's, you don't have to. All right, another drawer here. This drawer here loses a bit of height because on the other side is where the big slide out bench comes up to. So that's what this, this space here is taken up by the bench, which is on the other side. Alrighty. So yeah, if you wanted this kind of setup and you had a smaller canopy, you know, you, you might only get, um, instead of having these three drawers, you might only get two drawers. Um, or, you know, sometimes people don't want a, a big fridge like this, so we just do all drawers. There's other options too on the website where we've got um, the kitchen unit. So it's a, it's a kitchen which is 
built in next to the fridge, opens up and it's got all your stove space and different things like that. So there's lots of options on the website. Um, if, if, if you need something that is not detailed on the website, then we love custom work, you know, makes it more interesting for us. Um, so yeah, just let us know, um, let us know what you need. You can just email through to me. My email address is on the website, but it's just mark at drifter.com.au. Um, let me know what you need and if you've got any ideas and we'll check it out for you and um, yeah, and we'll see what we can do. Thanks guys.